Welcome back to the Citrus TV 2018 lacrosse preview show. Christian De Guzman here, now sitting down with senior attacker Brendan Bobbery. Brendan, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, thank you. Brendan, last year was your first year in Syracuse after transferring from Denver. How was that first year finally just gelling with the, your teammates? Uh, it was awesome. I mean, coming in, I didn't really know what to expect, but, you know, the guys really welcomed me in, and they really helped me out with the offense, like guys like Jordan Evans and Sergio Salcido and Nick Mariano, Mariano. You know, they really helped me you know, learn the offense quicker and, you know, feel more comfortable on the field. And that really translated to our chemistry on the field, I think. What was the biggest difference between the Syracuse system versus the Denver system that you were used to playing in? I think Syracuse is a lot, a lot faster and a quicker pace. You know, Denver, we, uh, we moved the ball around quite a bit, kind of wore te more defenses down. And I think that, uh, you know, it was, it was fast, but it was kind of a slower pace. And, you know, here at Syracuse, you know, we would go to the net a lot quicker and, you know, we're just, it's just a quicker offense in general, and I think that's really uh, a key to our success, playing quick. You mentioned guys like Nick, Sergio, and Jordan helping you learn the offense. Now you're kind of in their roles as the senior attacker on the on the first line. Do you see that kind of as your role now to teach the younger guys the offense? Definitely. It's kind of like a passing a torch. You know, uh, you know, I'm in the same position they were last year, and you know, the guys are in the same position. Even though I was a junior last year, you know, I was in the same position as they were. You know, new to the program. You know, that's kind of one thing I've really uh, tried to do this fall and work on. It's really help these guys out and learn the offense quick so they can, so they can get on the field and you know. Anytime, I just want to be open with them. You know, if they have any questions, they can come to me anytime. And you know, I'm really um, taking a lot of uh, uh, taking that to heart and kind of made it a big deal, big priority for me to help them. And uh, it's for, so far, it's worked out well. And you also last year moved from the midfield over to attack, switching with Nick. Did, mm -hmm. Was that a really a big difference for you to change your mentality from the <clears throat> midfielder to an attacker? I mean, it kind of was, yeah. It was the first time I've ever played attack in my career. I mean, I started playing field across in. Uh, in high school, I never played attack before, so it, kind of, it was a learning curve for sure. It took me a little while, and like I said, the guys have helped me a lot. And uh, you know, Nick, uh, you know, he was he can do either or, so they made a switch. And for me, I guess it was kind of the inside game kind of translated over me kind of well because I played box cross my whole life, and I think that really helped me give me an advantage to learn it quicker and uh, you know be successful. What's the biv biggest technique difference between a, an offensive mid and an attacker? I think. Um, being attacking and more like body positioning, you know, kind of protecting your stick from the long poles, whereas in midfield, you know, you're going against short sticks and you can you have a little more leeway, whereas you don't have that down low. So that was a big adjustment for me, and, uh, and I really try to work on that over the course of last season and into this fall. So, you know, just kind of becoming more comfortable and becoming better all around. And also as a senior, you were named as a team captain this year. What does that honor mean to you, given to you by your teammates? That's a huge honor. You know, I really wasn't expecting it. I thought, uh, you know, I've been here for a year. I didn't really think I had that much of an impact on, on them as a, as a leader. But you know what? Uh, being a senior, I knew I was going to have, there's going to be a leadership role no matter what. And I think it's, it's a huge honor. I've been, I'm really grateful for my teammates. You know, they chose me and it's been an awesome feeling so far. Um, we have to ask you about Jagger, your son. How is he doing right now? He's awesome. I mean, he's he's getting big. He's gonna be three here in a couple of weeks, and uh, you know he's, he's excited for the Syracuse season. I was leaving to come back here, and you know he's helped me pack my bag, make sure I don't forget <laughs> my stick, don't forget my pads, don't forget my helmet. You know he was he was awesome. He loved that, and uh, he's excited to get back to the dome too. What's the scouting report on Jagger? How good of a lacrosse player is he? He's pretty good. I mean, I a lot of people are surprised, and I think uh, you know we'll be seeing him here soon in a couple couple of years. Oh. Brenda, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Us. Thank you.